The highly anticipated unveiling of the Kurt Signetti era is officially here as we welcome you to Bloomington, Indiana for the annual spring football game from beautiful Memorial Stadium. You know, they're, they're, they're a lot of our top guys right now. Coach, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Coach. And a first pass of spring from and that's what Curtis Rourke certainly brings as a 2022 MAC uh, Conference Player of the Year. And he gives it to Justice Ellison, one of those transfers coming over from Wake Forest ran uh, for Indiana, and did a really nice job getting that offensive line to play better, and really seen that unit come together in spring. Free play here. Rourke is going to take advantage. It almost intercepted by Jamir Johnson on the defensive side of the can't without tackle. Pressure off the edge. Rourke gets rid of it, and it's a first down for the offense. Of course, the MAC Offensive Player of the Year in 2022 at Ohio and was really wowed by what this coaching staff has done with quarterbacks. Right as we see another three yard run by Justice Ellison. Tyson Lawton in the backfield, one of the JMU transfers. It's Rourke on the run, and there is no tackling. <laughs> I don't you know, envy Rourke this yeah, afternoon. I don't envy the defensive players when the court. Taking over for Brennan Soresby, who transferred out to Cincinnati, and of course. Taven Jackson involved in the quarterback conversation as well. We'll see him later on tonight on another handoff to Lawton. And this is a four. Man, he, he pushes through the hole. And you see him running off the left side quite a bit behind Carter Smith, went into the portal and came back. Big retention for Kurt Signet. Rourke dumps it down in an incomplete pass. It was Sean Asbury on the coverage, one of a number of transfers on the Dean from UNC and Justice Ellison from Wake Forest, all guys who were high producers. A little bit of penetration there on Curtis Rourke as uh, they were trying to set something up, maybe with the running backs, Matt. They're all about 5'10", 5'11", about 205 pounds, and both, you know, Lawton and Ellison, who we've seen thus far, can get it done in the pass game, as we see here. Well, that was one of the things that both Curtis and ability in that game just couldn't get it done consistently throughout. And the first play for him is a play action. Zipped out to Miles Cross, the Ohio transfer, showing some wheels. Fall in the hands of your playmakers and let them go make something happen. Again to pass, Jackson airing it out for Anderson Kobe. Wow, what a catch. 2022 season, but man, going up for a contested catch, maybe not something that you've seen a lot from Kobe, but that was a really nice ball placement from David Jackson, allowing his wide receiver to go up again. Well, when we had a chance to talk with Kurt Signetti about what excited him with Taven Jackson, he said his arm strength and he throws a pretty ball. And boy, was that. That's the thing. Just putting it all together now, how much are you seeing the field? What's your eye discipline like? How fast can you go from touchdown to check down? Because ultimately, you know. Offensive coordinator, what can Indiana fans expect? He said, you can expect us to play fast yeah. and look for the big play when it's there. Just like we saw a moment ago as Omar Cooper Jr. picks up four. Placing Dequeese Carter, Camp Camper, so two of their top wide receivers from a season ago. Jackson into the air. This time it's Trey Walker inside the 10 yard line. Good to see in the culmination of spring. Finally, a handoff, and this time it goes to Elijah Green, his first carry of spring ball. Second and goal from the 10 for Jackson. See that twitch in the pocket? there from Taven with his shoulders, with the pump. And that's something that Tino Sinceri told me really likes with Taven Jackson. He's working here. Five wide receivers set. Now Green joins Jackson in the backfield. Third down. Jackson towards the end zone. And a catch and a touchdown for Donovan McCulley. The leading wide receiver a season ago, his first catch of the spring game is a TD. Well, Matt, picking up right where he left off from a breakout 2023 campaign, ran five touchdowns in the final five games. This is what he does: red zone threat at six foot five, and Taven puts it where only Donovan McCulley can go get it. Big re-recruitment, yes, of Donovan McCulley, who put he was getting offers from. 
football blue bloods, but uh, absolutely a huge get in. Look, Kurt Signetti challenged him about midway through spring. I want, in terms of taking advantage of opportunities, I'd say A plus for Taven Jackson thus far. There's a handoff to Kalon Black showing the shiftiness out across the 50 yard line. He was the leading rusher last season for JMU and just Smith again, really good left tackle. Think I, he's got the ability to be one of the best in the conference. Back to Black over the left side, and this time not much running room. You referenced yeah. Carter Smith. He is uh, by the way, love that stop from Aiden Fisher, James Madison linebacker transfer, trying to anchor this defense for Brian Haynes. Five wide receiver set for Rourke. Sips it underneath to Miles Price, and the Texas Tech transfer is wrapped up. Aiden here make impacts on this defense as well. Rourke trying to scamper out of trouble. And just has to get rid of it because Kamara was hot on his tails. One of those have stopped. And right now, the number one defense has two stops against the number one offense. As Taven Jackson comes back in, who led a 90 yard drive, which resulted right. along this defensive line where the depth has taken a little bit of hit. You saw Daniel and Duque, true freshman, coming in there and helping to make a stop. Jackson, a play action, goes over the middle, and this time caught for a first down. Operating in the pocket from Taven to get that ball to cross. And look, these guys that are operating in the slot now, Cross, Price, Williams, all of them have over 100 career receptions coming into Bloomington, which is big for Kurt Signetti. And Kurt Signetti feels really good, yeah. particularly at the skill positions. Yeah, exactly right. You'd rather have a guy who's done it at the collegiate level rather than a, you know, a four-star guy who hasn't quite lived up to the hype at a bigger school or at a bigger program. Four big-time wide receivers that Mike Shanahan said have bolstered the deepest wide receiver room he has been around as Anderson Colby is off to the races. Inside the 30, Colby dodging defenders inside the five and taken down just ahead of the goal line by Nick Toomer. Explosives after the completion. Run up to the catch is huge, and they're going fast now. Now they're going to slow him down a little bit here after the uh, after the penalty, which obviously is going to be declined. Taven Jackson has almost 100. He has Justice Ellison in the backfield. They will give it to the Wake Forest transfer, and he is swallowed up. Maybe a gain of one. That's something that Brian Haynes is going to do. He's going to be aggressive. He's going to bring stunts, blitzes. Uh, but you got to get home so that you don't get beat in the second. Jackson, check down. Justice Ellison is wrapped up. A nice open field tackle. Third and goal from about the two and a half yard line. Jackson led a touchdown drive in his first series of the spring game. Gives it up the middle, and it's Justice Ellison barreling ahead for a touchdown. And the Wake Forest transfer is on the board. Back to back touchdown drives led by Taven Jackson. And a exercising of the demons for Taven Jackson as we were talking about that Louisville near comeback win over the Cardinals uh, up in Indianapolis. Boy, the. I just opened like the Red Sea right there. Parted like the Red Sea with the big guys up front, Bray Lynch at center, and then James Bamba who does all the dirty work at tight end coming in there to serve. From University of Louisiana, Monroe, was 10 for 12 on field goal attempts last year. If you're one win away from potentially being bowl eligible. Which this program hasn't seen since the COVID season of 2020. And it's part of why there is so much in right away. Wouldn't have taken the job if he didn't think so. And so you appreciate that kind of confidence. Now you got to go out there and prove it. And uh, that's what, you know, opportunities like tonight are all about. Miles Price tackled in by... front of the interior of the defensive line where there's been some kind of late departures right before spring ball actually started. So, yeah, want to beef the, that group up, get some depth, and they'll get some injured players back too for the fall. Tyson Lawton barreling ahead for a first down. Holding in front of you, and then bang, take advantage of it. He's got a real twitch to his game. Pressure off the edge. Rourke, a long throw is incomplete. He was looking for Omar Cooper Jr. Rourke was a three-year starter at Ohio University. And had he not had that injury at the end of the 2022 season, may have gone to the NFL draft. That was nearly intercepted by Kobe Miner, who the coaches have been thrilled with this year in spite of dealing with a bit of a group. They're putting that ball in a little bit of peril. I'd like to take care of it, protect it. Third and long again for Curtis Rourke. The third such third and long today. 
Goes to the air, finds Miles Price underneath, shaking free, and Price has a first down on a 16 yard reception. Price, a two time honorable mention, all Big 12. They go to the ground, it's green, trying to find a seam, and will scamper ahead for about four on first down. And that will bring us to the end of the first quarter of the single day. It's good though, we're pushing each other, we're all close. It's uh, no ill will against each other. We're just trying to get better. All right, get back on the field. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Elijah. It's Curtis Rourke getting it <laughs> to Elijah Surratt. Fittingly. For a left of the catch uh, as well. Fourth and about three and a half. They will go to the ground. It is Kalon Black shifting through the defense and finding a first down. Black lines up in the backfield again with Rourke. Back to Black. And again, another big pickup for Kalon Black, who again was the leading rusher a season ago for James Matt. To look like on the ground. All right, things weren't working very well early on in this spring contest here, but they kind of keep committing to the run game and then start leaning on that defense, make them feel you a little bit. Now you're starting to see some of that. Defensively, you referenced. A few men on the offensive line. They are missing Nick Kidwell, who figures to be a starting contender at right guard, coming over from James Madison. Just bolstering the depth as Tyson Lawton lowers the shoulder and gets into the end zone for a touchdown. The first touchdown of the afternoon for the first team offense. Tyson Lawton showcasing around the right side. Let's take a look here as oh, Lawton just sees something develop off the backside. Looked like that play was intended to go out to the left, and then he saw some daylight and had the wheels to make it count. Love the stiff arm, too, right there. Get by Sanguinetti. And the power into the end zone. Tyson Lawton is such a great story. Played five seasons at Stony Brook in the FCS. Was the conference preseason player of the year in 2022. Played a few games, had a season ending ankle to Nick Saban. Took a gamble on himself to get into the head coaching realm, and man, has that paid off. Yeah, and has also oh, <clears throat> had some real big quarterback influences along his career. I chased a coach, Phillip Rivers, actually ultra successful. And now we are seeing the third team offense led by true freshman Tyler Cherry. Will go to the ground on a handoff on second down. And it is strung out. David Holloman, a two year starter at Center Grove. Highly decorated high school career. Drops back to pass here. Shakes loose, but they're going to blow it dead. As we are getting more and more, I believe, Tyler Cherry running quarterback. So there you go, solid in the right Very spot. Fast. Slows down, I think you'll see the talent take over. Early enrollee, young enough still to be getting ready for prom. That's right. Here he is <laughs> leading the third team offense at Memorial Stadium. And Kurt Signetti said, look, he's a freshman. We're tempering our expectations for Lloyd Christmas type tuxedo and dumb and dumber <laughs> than your traditional black jacket bow tie. Man, he can bring the heat with his tools. And now it's just about understanding where and how to utilize them within this offense. A good throw there from Cherry going Cherry through his progressions and doing now to here. So they understand what Kurt Signetti wants, and I think that's huge. Back to the number one offense and another big gain on first down for Justice Ellison. This Rourke uh, did it as well, so they can they can uh, kind of share some uh, some husband tips right there in the locker room. Like it. Nice throw over the middle for a completion again to Ellison. Another six. It was clear to keep the veteran O-line coach Bob Bostad, a guy that Signetti said he didn't know personally but knew his great reputation around the coaching community. Signetti said he was really excited when he took the job and saw both season at the offensive line position. That's something they couldn't say here at sure. IU last year. And Bob Bostad was a big part of developing some of this young talent like uh, Carter Smith, getting the most out of a guy like Mike Kadick in the final years of his collegiate eligibility back now moving to center from his left guard spot a year ago. Trey Wedick of the offensive line room. Curtis Rourke on third down out of the gun. 
will give it to Elijah Green, who has been used often in the spring game on third down situations, playing well. Fake it. Rourke deep over the middle. He was looking for Donovan McCulley, and there comes the flag. McCulley was grabbed in the secondary. Completion percentage top 40 in yards per game. They want to move, and they want to attack, and that is exciting to a lot of Indiana fans. Exactly right. Deep ball broken up by Jamie or Johnson, who has had a couple of really good plays in coverage tonight. Glad you mentioned that. Love his versatility. Former four star recruit out of Pasadena, California. This time, Rourke underneath. Kalon Black taken down in the open field by Cohen on that last one. Rourke. That would have been an interception had they not blown it dead. Sean Asbury wants to run it back anyway. The Take ODU. It. These guys and be able to put them in the right place at the right time and allow me to play as fast as possible because they're playing as fast as possible as well. You've been with this staff for two years. For IU fans just learning about their new leaders, how would you describe them? Oh, we got a fire to win. Um, we don't. And Aiden Fisher tell the story of what this Hoosier program is going to look like under Kurt Signetti. Well, this Hoosier oh. offense has looked pretty good under Jackson, but he just throws an interception there, and it is picked off in the middle of the field by ODU transfer Terry Jones. Play in the secondary. Let's see, he's sitting right there in that rover position, playing that nickel slot role. Does a nice job kind of widening, getting his hands on cross, then getting back underneath the field of vision and the throw from Taven Jackson as he's looking four miles cross right there man that is an experienced player in terry jones who's played in 40 games started 26 in confidence that is a premier position in college football now with the way that teams are running 11 personnel which has three wide receivers out at this time rourke gets it to his wide receiver cooper who was shoved out of bounds by farrell the ohio state last year in the season opener you could see that he had some nuance to his game as a rusher coming on blitzes from the second level playing linebacker last year and and so i think that the, the coaches and talking to them you know saw some of that potential in it not just for guys making that position transition but for guys that are new to this scheme too and so i think that you'll really start to see some of that from this defensive end spot and they think that's going to really unlock some of his talent Rourke looking deep, has Miles Cross, and it's incomplete. Former teammates at Ohio. Full attempt here. This right. is a 51-yarder from the redshirt freshman, Radicic. Kick is up and away and right of the goal post. But he had the leg. Had the leg. Kick is no good. And Radicic, the player who bailed. Uh, they take such great pride in putting that snap back perfectly, getting that hold down exactly where it needs to be so that the kicker's in a spot to succeed. And so uh, that's really cool technology now. And Quarterback, he has looked really good in this yeah. spring game. Right? Yeah, save for the interception, he's been really spot on and taking a deep shot here. But, yeah, I, I think, look, he's got all the tools. Boy, and then he can take it from A to B. 11 for 14 tonight, 171 yards passing, and that one over the head of his intended receiver, Miles Price. But then got banged up a little bit and has had to work his way back to see him more in the fall. Rourke zips it wide and the catch made by Elijah Surratt. Worked the first four games and still ends up with 82 catches and over 1,000 yards and eight touchdowns. So fantastic work for Elijah Surratt. And here is Elijah Green trying to shake the tackle of Aiden Fisher. How many could do that? Let pace level. Walker really brings the fast in the fast physical relentless piece. Back to Green on the ground and goes underneath. Jamari Sharp across the 40 yard line for a feed into a fluid corner. One of the most heavily used corners last year for IU and played really well. Ran 10 6 9 in the 100 in high school. That'll play. Here is Zach Horton. First team all conference last year. They can slow it down. They can go at a breakneck pace if they want to. If they see matchups they like, personnel groupings they want to take advantage of. Rourke going to take a shot here. Finds Elijah Surratt inside the 40 yard line. A 14 yard reception and a first down. We're back. So Curtis Rourke uh, showcasing some of that arm strength here tonight. Back to the air. Rourke over the middle. 
Again, it's Surratt wrapped up after a pickup of 11. Isaiah, maybe the surprise of the defense during spring camp. And three straight completions that Zach Horton hauling it in. This is game here. And so this is where you're starting to see his ability to understand where the ball needs to go and then his ability to go get it. Rourke looking underneath. And a nice open field tackle by Aiden Fisher. Three-yard reception. Help another guy get open and <laughs> sacrifice themselves. Everybody's up and available. Rourke underneath again. And it is Trey Walker picking up the first down. So the drive continues. Our fifth-year guy understands the situation. Rourke has completed six in a row, and this one is over the head of Walker. Snapping that streak. Rourke ago kind of reminds the staff a little bit of Chris Cooley played in the lead. That's a heck of a count yeah. right there. Rourke will go to the ground and a nice pickup by Green. Six yards on the carry. You know, four months as we go through the summer. <laughs> Offense versus defense, third down and four. Rourke looking right now goes over the middle and batted down. Nice defensive effort by Josh Sanguinetti on the coverage of Miles Cross. All right, let's see again. Rourke starting off to the right. Great eye discipline there coming back to the middle. That's a ball that Miles Cross has got to catch and you know has caught many. four. Offense down by four. They need a touchdown. Rourke looking for Surratt. Instead, he goes underneath, and Horton dives ahead for a first down to extend the drive. Cool timeouts here for the offense, at least according to the scoreboard. Here we go. Seconds. Rourke again looking for Horton, and that is batted down by Bryson Bonds. With tailback in motion. Rourke going end zone, and caught. It's Anderson Kobe again, pulling in the touchdown to give the offense the lead. Touchdown, Hoosiers. This game started with Anderson Kobe making an explosive play and just Moby making a game winning play. Little fade route here, back shoulder, Rourke, excellent ball placement. Look, Anderson Kobe is pulling some tools out of the bag here tonight. I, I did not have him pegged as a contested catch type of player based off what we see. Remember earlier in this spring game, Anderson Colby had a 39-yard reception it. from Taven Jack. Defense is so short right now on scholarship players. 34 yep. to the offense is 47 coming into the week. We thought maybe Timeout. we could see the offense That's a third and final. really show their strength. This is interesting. Oh, all right. Looks like we got a special guest down on the field there, Matt. Thank you.